In tonight's Military Matters, our 3rd Brigade troops are returning home from the National Training Center. But as we end our series, we get a unique look at the training. KCEN HD News reporter Tiffany Pelt spent a day with the enemy. Tiffany, it's a side we usually don't see. Doug and Nikki, it's not. But without them, this realistic and combat training definitely would not be the same. So tonight, we show you the enemy known as Black Horse. We try to make every day the worst day of their lives out here. It's no secret. Black Horse, the 11th Armored Cav Regiment, is tough. Well, they're good at it, and it's, uh, it's, it's a hard fight to win. There's nobody harder to fight. As they should be, seeing as how they practically live inside the box month. Uh, this is my 15th one. After month. Almost uh, about 30 rotations. So <laughs> It's pretty, pretty bad. But once you start going over and over again, every rotation back to back, it gets easier, so you're more prepared the next rotation. They get used to the snakes. Happens every now and then. Someone will get bitten. And the um, spiders. A couple uh, tarantulas. And the harsh weather. As you can see, we're not in the best environment. They get used to it. Doesn't mean it's easy. To be honest, it gets it gets kind of long sometimes. Uh, kind of miss your family sometimes and miss weekends. But with each rotation, they gear up and take on the mission. Units come here to train before they deploy, and so we are here to make sure that they're ready for anything. So they finish up their meal, pack up for the night, and get ready for the war. We left this morning at 06. Wearing different uniforms and driving modified tanks and armored vehicles, Black Horse provides a living, breathing enemy force that knows the terrain. Be prepared for one Bradley on the south side of the MSR. And exactly how our 3rd Brigade fights. We're able to really give them a threat that they've not been able to encounter at their home station. And it's not just these tank-on-tank -tank battles. Black Horse can play the role of insurgents and help train for urban warfare, giving our troops the toughest fight possible. Really, this is the only place uh, in the world that you can bring it all together uh, and conduct that kind of training. Something uh, Colonel Van Wagenen, the 3rd Brigade commander, says is invaluable for his troops. We value this opportunity. Th these rotations out here are very, very expensive, but this is the best training the Army has. And while the Black Horse troops fight with everything they have. I'm tracking that we've killed five Bradleys. Helping to train our army. They too are coming out of the box even better. No slacking. Basically, you have to be on point every single time. Morning till your mission's over. So this is the best training I've gotten. So while our third brigade is happily coming home just after one month, Black Horse takes a quick break and prepares for the next war. It is very satisfying to know that we are helping the Army uh, by what we do out here. This wraps up your series. What was the most eye-opening part for you? For me, it was just really seeing what our soldiers go through. I mean, if that was supposed to mimic a deployment, it's just incredible you know, the lack of sleep, the food that they eat, constantly having to be mm -hmm. on your toes, it's exhausting. Mm -hmm. I was there for one week, and it definitely gave me a new appreciation for what our soldiers mm -hmm. do out there. So. And if you miss any of them, they're on our website, kcentv.com. Great stories. Be sure to check them out. Tiffany, thanks so much.